I can't believe I'm selling this car today. No, not this one. The Daytona. Hearing the offer that Hunter made to me for the Daytona, Dean told me that he misses the car so much and that he wants to be the one to buy it back. And obviously I would feel more comfortable selling it to Dean. I didn't want to sell the car to begin with and I know I don't have to, but I don't know, my gut's telling me to sell it back to Dean. And I think I want to build one of my own. So I'm going to look at doing that. I'm not looking to make money off of it. As long as I break even on this, I mean, I get revenue based on the videos anyways, and if I can help him get his build back on the road, then so be it. I'm gonna head over to Dean's right now. I'm gonna see what he wants to offer. He said he might be interested in possibly doing a trade for something, so I'm curious to see what he has in mind. It's a sad day to say bye to the Daytona. I can't believe I'm getting rid of this. How many cars do you have? Too many. Okay. I wanna build another Daytona, mm -hmm. but I think I wanna do it slightly different. Sandy and I have talked about this. We're kind of on the same page about yeah. maybe a Coyote, maybe like a few different things. I wouldn't mind a six speed. Six speed's not necessary. <laughs> Coyote though. Yeah. We just got here to Dean's. How's it going? Good What's to see up? you. What's I've up, seen guys? a lot of you lately. I know, I know. You're going to see more of me pretty soon. Hope so. You called me yesterday after yes. hearing about the bid that Hunter wanted to to pay on the car. I would love to get it called back because it's running so well. Yeah. I certainly don't want to see it go to Hunter. Now that I don't know who Hunter is. <laughs> yeah, Hunter's a friend of mine, but okay, right. I don't know. I, I had zero intention of selling this, but I saw your smile when you were driving the car. This is like your pride and joy. If you wanted to buy it back, which I know you do, that's something that I'm okay with. Okay. And I don't need to make money on the deal. I'm fine if I break even because it's no secret that I make money on the content that I produce with it too. So I'm happy if I just break even. Okay. That sounds good. Although I'm, I'm getting rid of all my negotiating power here. Oh, okay. But to well, be fair, <laughs> with the trans, the new alternator, all fresh tires, the alignment, all the little stuff that's gone into it, and including labor, we're probably realistically looking at like 10 to 20K on top of what I bought the car at. That's true. 10 to 20 sounds realistic. Okay. Yeah. So what are we looking at? Well, what I don't we know. At? You said you might. I don't want to buy, I want to get a fifth mortgage on this house just to get to, <laughs> to buy this car back. Okay. I don't want so you to either. Uh, all right. So let's, let's, let's figure this out. And I won't ask about the first four either. <laughs> <laughs> let's not forget about that. That's what, I, that's what I had to do to buy this car. Okay. So. <laughs> So worry about that. Um, you brought up the idea of a possible trade. So I was thinking since I got this GT40 that I bought about almost two years ago that I never driven it. Where'd you buy it? I bought it in New Mexico in Albuquerque. Okay. It's a GT40. It's a calf. They're made in Africa, South Africa. And so obviously it's going to be worth more uh, than the Daytona simply because the GT40 always worth more than Daytona and especially this model. Can I, see, can I see it before yes, we start talking you, numbers? You definitely can see it. It's <laughs> a really nice car. Oh, wow. I bet this color attracts a lot of bumblebees. Like, this is the Transformer I was just gonna here. say, it's like the That's Transformer right. car. Transformer car. They should have used this for Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> all my life, I only saw this car once in my life. I, I only see them at Monterey and Car Week. I never see them outside yeah, of right. that. People don't drive this stuff. The Daytona, same thing. You never ever see them on the street. You haven't driven it. Again, you don't know if it runs and drives. It, Why do I feel like I might end up just building all your cars for you? I know, right? <laughs> That's right. I'll get a six mortgage, okay? If I go back from you. <laughs> this car was never driven on the street. Not that I know of. Okay. I bought it from the guy. He parked it after finishing the car. Almost finished, probably did 99% of it and parked it under his tree somewhere. Okay. And ending up selling to me because he bought this car as a retirement present for himself in 2006. That's almost 20 years. That's right. Since 2006 it's been sitting and it's never been registered and he sold it to me 
and I don't think it was never actually fired either. So you don't even know if the motor's good, like at all? Well, no, the motor's good because I fired up and the motor runs. Oh, okay. I just, I don't think... It it's just hasn't never, driven. It's never been driven. Okay. I, and I haven't driven it either. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does because the transmission's brand new. Okay. And what transmission's in it? It's a uh, ZFQ. What's that? That's Z similar to a ZF, except uh, it's a newer model of the ZF. And the ZF was... Is that a five-speed? It's a five-speed. And it was used for the original GT40. Okay. What or motor is in it? Can we pop the, the yes. back here? This is a 427. Sandy, you're the Ford guy. Yeah. It's all Ford over here. <laughs> no Chevy, all right? <laughs> Hey, I saw the Lola in the backyard. Oh, Don't okay. bullshit All right. me. One Chevy. <laughs> All right, and then maybe a, a motorcycle, a couple motorcycles. And maybe a couple Datsuns too, but you know, we're not talking about that today. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've been looking at another Nissan. Maybe we trade for oh, a Datsun. Yeah, I have a Nissan too. What Datsun do here. you have? <laughs> he doesn't want to sell just the Datsun. <laughs> I have other cars too, just not here. Oh, I know it's a so. tiny little air cleaner. But uh, it runs. So it's still carbureted. So we'd probably want to swap that over to fuel injection, maybe put a dominator on it. You need seats, which no big deal. No, we have seats. Oh, you have it seats. Comes for it. Seats. <laughs> it comes with seats. It comes with seats. It comes with everything. This thing is complete. Okay. Oh, everything. So what, is what here. does it need? It needs to be finished and driven. But finished how? Probably Just cleaned up, body cleaned work. Up. If it fires and drives, the power to the uh, wheels. I actually don't know if it drives, actually. I never driven it. Okay. So I can't say. The transmission probably sitting since 2006, 7, 8, whenever I, that was purchased. Okay. Probably need to be oil. Yeah. And gone through before. Oh, I, I replaced the oil already. I replaced the transmission fluid. I it's was like really to, light. It's really clean. Yeah. It's, well, because it's been replaced. <laughs> That's well, been the replaced. New. Yeah, new motor, never driven. That's right. Bro, yeah, this looks like the Transformer Bumblebee. Like, this should have been the Bumblebee car. Let's start the baby up. Oh, actually, just fire it. Yes, it fired. I know he keeps saying that, but I don't know. I just keep, keep thinking it's like the Daytona. It's not going to run. Oh. Wait, so why has this been parked here? Dean, why don't you drive this? Because I never got the time to do it. This actually doesn't seem like it needs too much. It doesn't need that much, I don't think. But to try a running car, hey. I can't beat that. Fuel, 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 light, AC. Do you have lights on? Uh, the battery on. Is the battery it's connected. It's there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have one. My battery's calling. What are you thinking? I think it probably just needs to be torn halfway down and cleaned up and put back together. Yeah, definitely a deep clean, I mean, but it's seeds, if it fires, like I'm struggling, why doesn't he try to put in gear and see if it rolls forward? How, what does he mean he hasn't driven it? Who knows if the brakes work? True. That's all that stuff you're supposed to check before you go drive a car. We're just crazy. We just go, <laughs> it runs, it moves. Yeah, but we're go. also building our own cars and we trust our work. True. This would so. be something we would want to go front to back through. Yeah, yeah. So probably the same as him. You're not going to trust anybody else's work. I, I wouldn't, would That's you? true. No. Especially on something that somebody can assemble in their garage. Yeah. You don't know who assembled it. Yeah. He may have been a doctor. We all know how doctors are. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your foot, Sandy. Stupid doctor. <laughs> Well, walking around it, I guess while well, he's trying to grab a jumper. Single carb, carbureted, 427, long tube headers, small out block. the back. Little Ford small block back here. Ooh, nice dark aluminum cylinder heads. Oh, cute. It's even got a painted block. Oh, yeah. Oh, QA1 suspension. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I'm looking for this thing and I can't find out. Where the hell is this thing? <laughs> and it's right in front of my face. All right, I got it held on there. I know, it hurts a little. Trust me, I love electrical work, so it hurts just a little bit. Really? Do you want me to push it while you got your hand on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, push the button. Push down. All button. right, now we're All right, good. try it again. It should. You try it again? Nothing? I'm Nothing. not even hearing. That's weird. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it that it's good. You said the Daytona engine was good and, and that thing's been perfect, so. I trust you, and now I know where you live too. <laughs> <laughs> this thing doesn't turn over. That's okay. I think I did this right. I mean, I have a voltmeter, but don't worry about, about it, dude. It. It's okay. Yeah, I really <coughs> wanted to get it things running. I don't know why it's not running. It it ran before. I got to be completely honest. I don't know what these go for in the market today. Uh, well, just sitting like this, probably I would say 
110 to 120. This album. 90? 90? Gotta get the hell out of my job right now. I heard 90. Did you hear 90? <laughs> 90. Okay, so 110. So at least 110. Fixed up, really nice, close to 200. Okay. Uh, averagely, but a as is. Averagely should be about 140 to 150. And you could sell this thing all day, every single day for somebody for 140 to 150. Okay. Just being running. As sitting, if I need some work, I would estimate at 110 to 120. Okay. That's my estimate. So obviously it's going to be a trade for the Daytona plus That's cash right. on top. That's right. Okay. That's right. You said that somebody offered you uh, 75. You're getting the sweet end of the deal here. I buy a car, you end up getting a back running plus more money on top of it. Ah, to get well, you're getting a nice car though. <laughs> Remember, this is, a, this is a really nice car. Yeah. This is probably faster than the other cars. This thing would be a killer on a track. Oh yeah. I think it's faster than your Ferrari. Ah, oh, bullshit. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I could drive it faster than your Ferrari. I think I could drive faster than your Ferrari on this thing. I don't think so. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you what do you think is fair for the, the for transmission? Of this thing is probably worth fifteen thousand dollars for the transmission. That kit is probably thirty five to forty thousand. This kit alone is one hundred and forty without the transmission engine. I would say thirty five on top. That's how <laughs> like you bust out the fingers. I don't need to bust out no fingers. I, I do. <laughs> Sandy pondering. It's gonna be like really mine when the thing even goes up. Oh yeah. Is he really pulling out my calculator over here? Just Are you really so pulling your cap? <laughs> Guarantee the engine's gonna run. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with it right now. Oh, what's you're, he's va you're, so you're valuing the Daytona at 75 then? Uh, yeah, well somebody's offering you 75, I think that's a, that's a fair price. I'd be happy at 35. It still needs some work because it, remember a lot of this stuff been sitting for a while. The tire definitely going to need new tire because this tire is 2006 so, well, you know. I, I guess business is business to come out on top money. I just feel weird taking money from you for a car I just bought a week ago. <laughs> but Am I wrong? I don't know. But you're yeah. getting a nicer car at the end of the day. Under one, okay, we're going to do under one condition. Okay. We get access to the Daytona whenever we that's want. Flying's good too. And I get access to this. Sure. Okay, that's okay. deal right there. Okay. All right. All I'm right. good with that. That sounds good. That sounds great, actually. I'd rather, I want to see this thing drive. Yeah. I definitely want to. I mean, shit, what else you got around here? You know uh, what I'm I saying? Do have, well, someday I'll get the Lola done. That'd be cool. That's it cool. Was the Raptor engine back there for the Lola? I was going to but I found a better engine for it. What engine? It's the, I believe it's called the OS 750. It's a Mercury engine. It puts normal aspirated 750 horsepower. Oh wow. The LS7 base engine, 750 horsepower is actually a little bit too much for that, that car, but that's okay. Well, I obviously did not come with a truck and trailer. Can I leave this with you until yes. I get back from yes, Europe? Yes, it's $100 a day for lunch. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> cool. All right. Monkey Man would be $200, okay? So I, I take $100. <laughs> $100 a day. You throw a hard bargain. You can wash and wax it before you get it, right? That's fine. At least it's $200 a day. <laughs> and a full tank of gas. <laughs> I guess I just traded from a Daytona to a GT40. Uh, beautiful car. Trust me. This thing is awesome. I just never driven it, so I don't know. But I, I can tell it's awesome. We're gonna force you to hang out with us more and bring that Daytona around. Yes. I hope you're okay with that. Yes, I will. We okay. will we'll definitely do that. Here's the keys to the Daytona. All right. I'll get my call back. Yeah, you can keep All the right. lanyard. Now you can see me on YouTube on this Daytona, okay? <laughs> okay, never. Forget it. I lied. <laughs> you're like, psych, start my own channel sucker. now. Hey, sucker. <laughs> I will be back in two weeks. Okay, sounds good. That's the, that's $1,400. <laughs> I knew All you were right? going to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry we're going to be doing another Ford build on the channel. I know how much you despise working on them. Shucks. Obviously, I need to look into the prices of the GT40 just to make sure that everything Dean was saying was accurate, but I believe him. I trust him. He, so far, has never led me to believe otherwise. Uh, but if you guys think about it, Daytona bought for $45. let us say we put $20 into it, so that's $65, plus spending $35 to buy the GT40, I essentially just bought a GT40, which should in theory have a healthy engine trans and all that, Just that just needs a little work for 100K, which I'd say is a pretty good deal. 
Especially considering I'm, that some I'd of these so. some of these go for like two to three hundred K. Oh yeah. Easy. Real clean ones go for a lot. Yeah. In certain kits. Right. You know. And I think that's one of the better kits. I think it's like one of the best.